Hey guys, today we are taking Chester and Kite to a very nice indoor arena so I can get them some good workouts. It's been very windy and rainy and they both really don't like the indoor here. It's very small so I want to take them somewhere. They can really, you know, stretch out and enjoy their workout. So I put Chester's shipping boots on and then Kite gets bell boots. This is because I just don't have another pair of shipping boots and he hauls great. So Chester is going in the trailer first. This pony was being very nosy as we waited. When we get there, the first thing I do is get Chester's shipping boots off. I use them because he's pretty hard on his hocks, but I don't want any trapped heat, so they come off first. Today, I'm riding kite first, so my mom kind of gets him brushed off while I pick his feet to make sure there's nothing in there, no rocks or anything before I start saddling. I dust him off a little bit more before throwing on the saddle pad. If you've been watching my videos, you know I won this for qualifying for the Americans, so I thought I would try it out on Kite today. And then I throw on my saddle. It is a circle Y, if you are wondering, and I love it so much. It's very comfortable, and it's honestly very pretty. I can't find this exact saddle, but it is a circle Y. Hey! 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 Stop it! I put on this cute Hot Head Stalls breast collar just to keep the saddle from slipping in case it wanted to do that. And here I am stopping him from pawing and being very annoying. Now that all my tack is on, it is time to hop on. So I put on my black Troxel helmet. Could you stop it for like two seconds? Where, where, where are you going? You just made that 20 times harder. He is 23 years old, so I walk him for a long time. I want to get all of that fluid warm in his joints. And I just don't want to try or do anything with his joints cold.
And my nephew is here, so he got to ride around on kite for a little while. And he also <laughs> bit the GoPro, so that was pretty funny. Are you going to lick the GoPro? Now it is time to start Kite's workout. So I long trot really big laps both directions without stopping. So I'll trot this way for a while and then do a figure eight through the middle and trot the other way for a while. Easy. Easy. <laughs> After I let him kind of walk and catch his breath, I asked for the lope this direction and I lope big and small circles.
pit. I don't have any syrup. So. You are 23. He wants to crib really bad. He's thinking about it. We're patiently waiting. Because I'm having to be rude. So she can eat the arrows. So hot barrel horse has to sit for a minute, which is terrible. He hates it. Even though he acts like I've been killing him in the round pen. But yet we want to run here. Yeah, I agree. Dude, I'm not set to do anything. You are drama. You see. <laughs> After that I let him walk for just a little while and then I take him over to be out of the way to do the YMCA for like a TikTok and the sound is copyrighted. I'm about 100% sure YMCA. Yeah, you get it. Okay. So I loosen the saddle first to get him untacked and now it is Chester's turn. <laughs> oh my god.
sister is not nearly as old as Kite, but I still walk him for a long time. Just some big laps before I trot. Want that fluid warm, and we did haul here. So I do lots of walking. Once I am done walking, I ask for a nice slow trot here. I don't grab him. I don't immediately try to force his head down. I go one-handed to kind of give him the benefit of the doubt and see if he'll relax into it. And honestly, he did really good. He gave me this nice trot. I didn't want to pick a fight if I didn't have to. So we just trotted around like this for a while. After we've trotted for a decent amount of time, I bring him down to the walk and pet him to tell him he did good, because he did, and then I walk for just a little while before asking him to lope. When I ask him to lope off, he is very hot, as you can see, and he wants to be strong, but I just really work on him. I take and release and honestly i think the release is the most important part and that is what's going to bring you down from this to a very nice smooth easy lope so it just takes me about a minute and we get him from that crazy lope with his head up high trying to run to a nice smooth lope with his head down I do brake check him this way to get him really listening. I just say, whoa, and this is what I get, which is great. So I pet him, reward him. If I do this, I try to only do it about once in a workout because it's pretty hard on their body and I just want to know it's there without having to make him do it a million times. Now we are going to repeat this whole process the next way and he's always harder the second way, as you can tell. I tried to go one-handed, but he forced me to go two-handed because of how hot he decided he wanted to be this way.
when I get that nice smooth lope, I stop him, pet him, tell him he did great. I'll walk for just a second before hopping right off. That is his reward. He is done. So usually I will hop right off whenever he gives me what I want. Every time I get off, the first thing I do is loosen that cinch. You don't want it tight whenever you get off, and I just want to release that pressure as soon as possible. And then, if he has boots on, those also come off immediately before I walk him somewhere else because there is a lot of heat in there, and I have them to protect his legs, to support his legs, but I don't want them on any longer than I have to. He is also immediately offered some water. Before we load back up to head home, Kite does his favorite thing ever, which is to roll in the dirt. He loves it, so we try to give him that opportunity as much as possible. <laughs> Thank you. When we get home, I get both of their boots off and then they get fed dinner because everybody else ate dinner while we were gone. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a super fun, easy, chill video. And I will see you next time. <laughs>